Thanks, Rick. Right now, an area spanning several hundred miles is on lockdown in the state of Maine following Wednesday's mass shooting. Mike Valerio is in Lewiston, where police are still trying to hunt down the men responsible for killing at least 16 people. With a mass shooting suspect at large, tight-knit communities living under lockdown are unable to grieve together, with shelter-in-place orders required for nearly 700 square miles of Maine. I feel very lucky to be uh, in my room, safe and sound. I know that I had friends that weren't so lucky and had to spend the night in the library or the dining hall. Authorities, local, state and federal, searching land, air and water for the suspect, 40-year-old Rob Carr. A tremendous amount of law enforcement, manpower, time and effort is being utilized around the clock. Federal investigators launched a, quote, dynamic entry search at the suspect's last known address and say they've seized a cell phone and a note left behind by the suspect. Every minute that this goes on, uh, we're more and more concerned, uh, you know, because the, what's the next thing that's going to happen? Neighbors of the now wanted mass killing suspect say they are shocked. It just didn't seem like that kind of individual. Like I said, people have problems, but... You don't expect them to go off the deep end like that. People are now speaking about their lost loved ones, like Leroy Walker, who says his son Joseph died a hero, trying to stop the shooter at the bar and grill he worked at with a butcher knife. Pray for everybody. Pray for the people that passed away with my son. Pray to the Lord that this doesn't happen again in our community. In Lewiston, Maine, Mike Valerio, WDRB News.